Hey guys, it's Canis, and I wanted to apologize because I know it's been a while since I've done another meme react, but I've been very busy and I've also been struggling a lot with this one. So I'm just going to upload it as is. Um, and just, you know, I did the best I could, but there's definitely going to be a lot more. Although I do think this one's pretty good too. So yeah, <laughs> enjoy. I could just imagine he steps on one of them by accident and then you just hear a loud ah <laughs> oh man the good old riz academy oh shut up my riz game is okay i don't know if it's bad just let me know okay if it's i could take the heat i could take the criticism <laughs> and then everyone is gonna tell me your riz game is bad okay i'll keep training okay riz check what okay well what do you think is it bad give us one line bud fuck uh fuck I don't know. Shit, I don't like being put on the spot. Um, eh, I don't know. Holy shit, I'm blanking out. It's like I'm, it's like I'm getting stage fright. Uh, uh. Oh well. No, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna give it because I really got nothing on my mind. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Um, yeah. Okay. I, I, I submit. Okay. My risk game is bad. It's like. It's like at a zero, okay? I just I just rather, you know, go up and talk to a woman like a normal person and just be like, Oh hey, how's it going? How's your day? How's how's your day going? Oh cool, my mine is going good too. But what have you been up to lately? Oh, okay, yes. I've been up to this, this and that. Or, you know, whatever she says, just if you find something interesting, ask questions. Like, oh really? Um, tell me a little bit more about that. That seems really interesting. Have another conf just have a conversation, you know, don't go up to some girl and be like, you know, hey babe, can I get your number? Can I get it? <laughs> if you if you do that, they're just gonna shut you down immediately. It's like, uh uh, no, no. Here's an introduction for you. I don't like doing introductions though, they're so cringe. How much does a polar bear weigh? I don't know. I'm curious what how much does a polar bear weigh? Weighs as much as that, you know, badonka dunk. <laughs> Enough to break the ice. Okay, fuck off. That was good. You see, you have it. I don't. I just rather talk to them or talk to people, you know? But it's also kind of hard because, like, I could be a little socially awkward sometimes. But I try not to be. Over the summer, I met up with, like, a sugar daddy. So his plan was to pay me 10k for peeing on his face. And I peed on his face, I got the 10k, and then I came home and I, like, blocked him, haven't talked to him since. Two months later, I walk into class, first day of school, First class, he's my professor. Huh? <laughs> you gotta be ashamed of yourself, nigga. Real talk, you gotta be ashamed of yourself. All as you will. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no. <laughs> well, get wrecked. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh my god, he's right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh man, dude, if that professor does not give her an easy A, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. But would she stay in the class? That's another thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. So many questions. I want I want follow-ups. I need follow-ups. Fuck. <laughs> uh, first lesson of the day, define GS. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh no. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like... Would you stay in class for that or just leave? Because I think, I don't know. Okay, would the professor have already known or noticed because they're given a list of who's in their class, but maybe they didn't even know each other's name at the time. So possibly you would have known first and it would have been hella awkward either way, regardless who, know, who knew first. So would she stay or leave the class? Would he, um, no, it would make a lot more sense if he just did not acknowledge it and just gave her an easy A. Or maybe just look at her and be like, yeah, we're, we're here now. So, <laughs> like, maybe a wink and a nod, like, all right, I got you, um, <laughs> free pass. That's one way to get yourself fired. Well, if nobody knows. And this was before they met, so, like, I don't think it, I don't think it matters, does it? I don't know, maybe. Four-year-old German man was convicted after keeping a World War II tank in his basement. 
But why? Plus your 80... Well, okay, plus your 84, but I guess there's some sentimental, you know, reasons. Like, I know there are some people who go to war, they go to the army, they go to the navy or marines or whatever, and they go there because they feel like they have this duty, this civic duty they want to do or commit to, and others just want to go there because of you know, try and live a better life afterwards. And there are some soldiers that can't let go, don't want to let go of that part of their lives. So therefore they keep a fucking World War II tank in their basement. <laughs> That's so wild. There are collectors, yes. I think we need more context, but in a basement certainly doesn't help. Yeah, I think this guy was probably either a collector or probably manned this World War II tank and kept it for himself. It was like, Yo, this is cool. I'm not getting rid of this. Remember back in the, um, garden days of World War II? Yeah, war, war is hell. And some people embrace the hell. Um, not all, of course. You know, I don't know what it's like, so who am I to say? Oh, baby, baby, how could this have happened, Joe? Oh. Wait, is this... <laughs> okay, that's one way to, um... Tell the story of Jesus. <laughs> Britney Spears style. I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was cringe as fuck. Never, never, never do that again. Never, I never want to see that again. Oh my god, that was so cringe. Ay, 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 fuck. <laughs> no more. No thank you, no thank you. <laughs> Illegal Animal Crossing villagers watching a giant minotaur, minotaur fly above them. Huh, I don't think I fully understand, but I always like this meme of, um, what is it called, the lighthouse? The movie? Lighthouse? Um, Willem, Willem Dafoe just looking up. <laughs> the memes behind- the memes are so great. Except this one. This one I didn't fully understand. A group of gay furry hackers have hacked into one of America's biggest nuclear labs. Welcome to 2023 everyone. They're called c oh, wow. and no, I'm not being derogatory by calling them gay furry hackers. That's literally <laughs> how they describe themselves. The Idaho National Laboratory is their target and they aren't kidding around. They've posted a sample of the data they've obtained and are threatening to release huge amounts of employee data if their demands are not met. What do they want, like a bunch of bad dragons or what? lab to research the creation of real life cat girls, which I'm going to give you a second. To wait, wait, what? Let me run that back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 what? So if their demands are not met, they want... ...are not met. What are their demands, you ask? Well, they want the lab to research the creation of real life cat girls. They want this lab to create or develop cat girls. Holy shit. Cat girls. Which, I'm gonna give you a second to process that, and yes, again, this is a real story. You see, there's this long-running meme that furries want to create a race of sexy human mutant cat. Obviously, those demands <laughs> are impossible, but that hasn't stopped SeedSec from targeting other big institutions too, like NATO. And you still might what? be thinking, but why? And honestly, you kind of just have to throw reason out of the window on this one. They literally start their posts with meow, 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 before <laughs> going on about yummy date. Oh, fuck. Okay. God damn it. Oh my god. I am so fucking conflicted with this. I would think it would be so cool to have cat boys and cat girls, but that's not possible. You're going to actually do some inhumane shit. You know, inhumane shit, inhumane things are gonna happen in these labs. I don't want happening. <laughs> that's just not, that's, that's, that's not good, Gabrowski. That's not good. Um, just leave it in the internet. Can we just do that? Can we like leave it in the internet? Is that okay? Um, please, my fellow furries, not everything needs to be in the real world, in reality. Leave it back, leave it in your imagination, you know, leave it in the artwork. Leave it in the animations. Leave it on the internet. That's all you need to do. Just, we don't need cat boys and cat girls. We got other serious shit to focus on. <laughs> like fucking inflation. Anyways. Ugh. I do inhumane things to make my body mod modding the thing so we can all be furries. Really volunteers only though. Maybe crim- No. 
I'm okay with the willing volunteers if they so choose, but no. <laughs> leave the <laughs> leave the criminals alone. <laughs> uh I don't, oh god. What if I'm a criminal? Like tax evasion. Nah, that's not that's not gonna happen. Yes, exactly, Kenji. Careful what you wish for. Because what if, you know, cat boys and cat girls do exist and they actually act like cats? They're gonna scratch up your furniture. They're gonna cough up hairballs everywhere, you know? They'll fight you and they could actually win. And like, even some actual cats could win in a fight against a human. Good god. <laughs> Why, I fully support body modding. Unironically, I'm 100% down for body modding. How, people? I don't mind body modding, but like, it's a tricky topic. I don't know. Um, you don't mean catfolk specifically? Well, I'm saying catfolk specifically. Anyways. Now, luckily, the breach doesn't involve the actual running of the lab. It's more about the personnel working in it. But then again, one of the biggest military intelligence leaks in modern history happened over a Minecraft Discord server this year. <laughs> so who knows what's possible at this point? Either way, the hack is- It just keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. How? Oh, in a Minecraft Discord server? Mine you got Minecraft and Discord. You know, up in this bitch. What is going on? It's obviously enough for the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security to get involved. And yeah, wait, 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 wait. Is that the boy kisser? <laughs> no, this can't be fucking real. Look, okay, honestly, no. It probably is, given given how much brain rot I got online. I'm pretty sure it's real. That's the boy kisser. <laughs> boy kisser artwork. Oh my god. And yeah, I don't know, wild idea, but maybe, maybe we just give them what they want. I mean, I, I, I don't care, personally, obviously. Uh, yeah, but I mean, IRL cat girls, I mean, probably not the, the worst thing in the world. He's literally me. Wait, what? This dude is literally me right now. I mean, literally, right? This is the shot right here. I mean, <laughs> maybe it ain't gonna be all that bad. I don't know. I don't know. What is, what is a world with cat boys and cat girls like? I'm curious, but I don't know if it's a good idea either. I'm conflicted, okay? My brain says one thing and my heart says another. I mean, probably not the, the worst thing in the world. What's wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> is it a good idea? Fuck no. Would it be fun? Yes. Yeah, it would be fun. The internet is a wild place, man. <laughs> 